Hi and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. Those are the first words I've spoken today. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. I have uh, a full, not a full face, almost a full face of, of underrated products, things that I don't hear uh, a lot of people still talking about, um, if they did ever talk about. So um, I, I just... I've seen a couple of videos on this and I thought, yeah, I've got some things that I still either still love or I found that I really love that we just, we haven't gotten a lot of hype still around. And so, anywho, I thought, let's do this. This shirt is everything. Okay, so this is um, from Wicked Witch boutique she does all of like the really cool art science literature like rock band t-shirts uh that I wear this is the Wizard of Oz release that she just did and I got several shirts from it but this is Mombi from Return to Oz now there's she has two names one in the books one in Return to Oz the film which is I it's it's part of what built me as a child um, and Mombi was her name in the film. And so she has two shirts, one with each name, so that if whichever one you want. But she's the one who, like, took off her head and put on different expressions. I want to talk about creepy. Watch Return to Oz with Feruza Balk. Let me tell you, you, this is, I, I watched this as a child, absolutely terrifying. The wheelers, the, the, terrifying. It's absolutely horrifying. Anyway, so uh, that's actually quintessential childhood trauma movie. <laughs> it's not really trauma because I also loved it. Like I was obsessed. Anywho, um, Mombi. Uh, so <laughs> let's, let's get ready with some Narita products. Uh, we're going to start with, uh, again, I don't have a full, full face because like I don't have an underrated brow product, but I've, I mean, I've got some, I've got what I love and use. And so we'll, we'll use that. First up is what I'm going to use for my primer, which is the Josie Moran, um, Argon, enlightenment illuminator um illuminizer excuse me and it is what i it's it's the og 10 man 10 woman 10 person uh illuminator that i would use underneath makeup before i do that though let me pop on a smooge of um the aoa studio pore filling it's I'm, i mean i mean just a smooge right here this is incredibly inexpensive on shop miss a and it is just a good little silicone pore filling primer to get those disappeared before you put on anything else. So this has got a pump. Again, this is like the original. I I did, I mean, for probably, I don't know y'all, if y'all remember, it might have been six months that I was trying every illuminating primer liquid highlighter to... Uh, to see which one worked best because I had had samples of this one and I loved it so much and I didn't want to spend the money on it, but I did. Um, I think it was, I think it was a VIB purchase like in the sale because I don't want to spend full price for anything, uh, but especially higher end, <laughs> but look how beautiful it is. So thin, it is so gorgeous and it makes the most stunning glowy primer of all time. It's just this, it's this pretty champagne. It's not dark. Um, it is, to me, it's a more flattering color tone than the elf, the elf one. I'll hold them up together. Do you see what I mean? This is too, uh, it's got too much peach in it. Uh, this is, I don't know, they're, they're close, but you know, uh, Josie had it on lock. I also really like her sunscreen, just an FYI. Okay, so there's primer. For, I have been so excited 
to tell you about this. And I put it back in its box as I knock things down. I have many underrated foundations because I am a make the foundation work kind of gal. I'm a make the anything kind of work, but especially foundations. But this I bought on a whim off of Amazon. I will link it down below. What the heck is that? I've never heard anybody talk about it. I have no, I, I don't know if it just came, it was like, I don't know how I found it. I know that I was looking at like BB creams and this came up. I've never heard of this brand before. This is the, I don't, Leak? Lick? I have no idea. Active Beauty Hydrating BB Cream. When I tell you that this is the most beautiful, okay, it's a weird shape. And I have it in the shade light. Now you listen here. You're gonna, okay. It's a BB cream and a stick, okay? Stick BB cream. You're, <laughs> just wait. <laughs> this came in the mail. Again, I literally just, it's a few dollars. Like five bucks, six bucks, I don't even know. Ridiculously cheap. I bought it off of Amazon, okay? It got here and I went, all right, I was downstairs at my computer at work. I hadn't put on any makeup that day. So the next break I got, I slapped it on. Put it on with a sponge that wasn't even damp. It was gorgeous. Now you just wait, you just wait. Okay, Nor pretty coverage, covers up redness, right? Like it does the thing. When I tell you this stuff builds, It wore so pretty that day. I have normal skin. I don't have, um, and if I had to say it was combo in the T-zone, it's combo oily. It's not dry. So I don't have dry skin. And I've worked really hard to keep my skin like hydrated um, because it has been dehydrated for a long time. It's, it's a, a work in progress, but it's not a perfect shade match. They don't have one lighter than this. So just FYI, this is as light as it goes. If you're fairer than me, it might not work. I've got a friend down there. Happy, happy menstrual period. <laughs> Anywho, you're like, that's TMI. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so um, as I pounce this in and stack this on top of itself, because it is gorgeous. Um, let me tell you about my week because my wedding anniversary was this week. Mr. Rogwump and I were married 13 years ago. Can you believe that? And so we did an anniversary. Actually, we did two anniversary dates. One on the weekend because it just made more sense while, you know, it, our anniversary is during the week this year. So we, it just made more sense to do it during the week on the weekend. Okay, real quick. Don't, it's less yellow in person. My walls are lilac. And so it seems to be, foundations seem to be quite yellow on uh, camera, more yellow on camera, especially for different places on my face. I don't know why, but that's a thing. Um, It's just beautiful. I am so impressed. And again, it stayed all day. So I'm, I'm gonna keep using it, but I just wanted you to know if you wanted a quick old little BB cream that is uh, mess free, just slap it on. Uh, I'm down for it. Like, you can't even see. Like, it's not, I built it up and you can't even see it on my skin. Oh, blah, 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 blah. it's so pretty. Okay, onward. Uh, there's a couple things I'm going to put on that aren't underrated, but that are, I need to put them on. So, as I do that, let's talk anniversary. So, Mr. Rugwump, um gave me a choice of if I wanted him to, like, pick me out a present and buy it for me for my anniversary, which he does for 
birthday, Christmas, all that jazz. Or if I wanted, this is the first time he's ever done this, if I wanted to just go to the bookstore with him, pick out all the books I wanted, <laughs> and we buy them. And I said, bookstore, yes. So we went to the bookstore on Saturday, and he made sure to buy me a vanilla bean frap because it was later in the day. And so I only have caffeine like in the morning and I only have two caffeinated drinks like all day. Like that's it because, and I really should get it down to one, but here we are. Um, pick your vices. That's Benefit Lemonade. But he is, uh, he's, he's a good, he's a good one. So he drug me over to the Starbucks and I got my little vanilla bean frap, which is basically a milkshake. And he, uh, he got his coffee and then off we went. We did, I did a lot of damage, but I also got some, um, magazines, which I love. We sat in the magazine section, you know, so, uh, in Barnes and Noble, they have the benches in front of the magazines. And so he was there perched, uh, reading car stuff and I, uh, grabbed, the uh, so arts and crafts and cross stitch and quilting and looked at all the you know all that jazz halloween crafts things like that so uh ended up hanging out for quite a while in the magazine section after i had my bucket full of books <laughs> and we uh we had a great time together i love hanging out with him and he is the best. Um, that was, this is the old cave or Kat Von D, like old Kat Von D locket concealer. It is so good. Mine, the little thing fell off, but I always put it on with my, um, ring fingers anyway. So I just get product on my ring finger and put it on with the heat of my hands and it does wonderfully it's so pretty but it's that's the original I had I have the new one somewhere I'm looking at my concealer thing but I don't know where it is um I have the I have the new one it's good too but this one like oh my gosh it's still good I've I have had it for years this was in the shade L5 and I'm telling you, it's so good. But you use so little of it that it lasts forever. So that, I think, I don't know that it was underrated, but it's it's now gone unless you have a, a tube somewhere in your room. Uh, break it back out if you do. This, I think there was hype when it first came out, and it is still an amazing under eye powder this is from pat mcgrath labs and it is oh gosh the name is rubbed off <clears throat> it's their under eye powder you can use it all over the face if you want to this is in the shade light and it is absolutely gorgeous it is spendy, but you don't need much. Like if you're using it for under eye, that's it. That's all you need. And it is so pretty. I think I have to look at this beat up thing. Uh, I think I have two of them, but uh, because I think there was a sale and I wanted to like, yo, let me get the second one. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's so pretty. A powder that is underrated is the Halo Glow Setting Powder from e.l.f. Let me tell you, if you want to be gorgeous, this is it. I've got it in the shade Light. And let me just, it is so pretty. It's got one of those uh, half, you know, thingamadooge for, I want to say shifting. It's sifting is what it's called. Um, I'm going to use my Trigwell Puff, welcome to uh, probably pre mini puzzle where you forget the name of everything, including probably your firstborn if you have one. It's a pain, y'all. We'll go through it together, though, because why not? If you're in your 20s or 30s, start listening to women in their 40s about what their daily life is like because it's coming for you, sis. It just is. This powder is so pretty. 
it is not, it's not a highlighter. Like, I know it's, it, it says Halo Glow. It could be about the size of a loose highlighter. It's not. It is a beautiful setting powder that does not leave you flat matte, but it will set down your makeup so that, you know, it doesn't transfer or anything else. It's just gorgeous. It is so pretty. Again, I have the shade light, but it's, it's one that I know that several people, when it first came out, they liked, but powder kind of goes the way of the buffalo and people don't really talk about it so much, but mm, I'm down for it. Okay, let's talk about bronzer or contour, whichever, and blush. So this I've talked about on my channel several times. W7 is like a dupe brand. Uh, I was sent this from a beautiful subscriber and I don't I don't know that I would have known or tried to tried it, but it's like the Charlotte Tilbury dupe, the Hollywood Bronze and Glow. This bronzer is the most beautiful bronzer in the world. It is so beautiful. I think it's probably $7. You can get it on Amazon here in the States. It is a UK brand. But I think you can also, you might be able to order from their website. I'm not going to look because I'm trying not to buy stuff right now. But they do do products. This one is just stunning. I love it so much. Hello, Floofer. I love it. This, I have to make myself put this one down to try other things. That's how good it is. The highlighter is quite good too. I have a different highlighter to talk about. But that, I, I use those all the time we will blend more than this so don't very darling all right blush is an old and i mean old one so buckle up friends this came in an ipsy i don't know how many years ago yeah i do it, it's 2019 <laughs> um this is from I think she was an influencer. I don't know if she still is. Uh, Gigi Gorgeous. This is the the only blush duo in Authentic and Pride. Okay, let me just. This thing has been through the gigs. Like, because she's the most gorgeous blush. This is not specifically this product. It is, but it also isn't. It is. Blush to me is blush. And I know there are some beautiful colors that are that are very pretty from like that Dior pink, like gorgeous blush. I want it, but I don't want to pay for it. So I haven't bought it yet. I have a lot of pink blushes. This is a product to remind me to tell you that for color products that are not formula like specific, that are just really pretty, like a bullet lipstick or a, like it just, buy the thing that makes you happy. Um, I don't, I don't need like high-end blushes because, or like famous blushes or trendy blushes because they are, blush is a blush. This is the most beautiful peach blush in the whole wide world. It makes you look so healthy and beautiful and I love it. This, I have used this slam to pieces. Um, and that's the other thing. It's like you will never, I will never go through a blush. But this one's so pretty. And I haven't broke, I haven't broken her out in a long time. And I'm happy to have a reason to use her. Love her so much. I love her so much. Okay. Highlighter before I blend my face to pieces. This is an underrated highlighter because it is very unique and beautiful. This is the Kimchi Chic Pearls Gone Wild. Now, if you have the Trixie Mattel collab highlighter with kimchi this looks like half of that highlighter so if you have that highlighter you you essentially have this one this one was the first like major highlighter to come out she does have other like normal highlighters not like this glittery and crazy but this highlighter is special and i love it so much i'm gonna put it on with my finger because it's a lot but it has like it has a pinky blue lavender glittery like sparkly shift that is just so fun I am going to work and this is a bit much for work for me not a bit much I mean my work doesn't care what I wear or look like because it's about the work I do can you imagine such a concept but it, 
<laughs> it is, it's also, I normally don't wear like color highlighters. This one's not color. There's no base pigment. I think that's the other piece. There's no base pigment to this. So you get the, the shifty colors just from the light hitting those particles. You can see particles, which is what a lot of people don't necessarily love but the light off of this is so gorgeous. So you can you can use a brush with this if you want to. I don't, I just, I usually like fingers for highlighters that have a little bit of a putty texture. This is still available, it is still gorgeous. Kim does beautiful products. I love them so much and I am happy always to support a brand um, for someone who really loves just loves makeup and anyway so that is that let's blend the whole face because we've got a lot going on and then we'll spray and do some brows this is just a little kabuki brush from wet and wild and it helps just get in there and get it all blended out gosh my face is so pretty but the thing about it is, is like if you were up close to me, like super up close, you wouldn't be able to tell, Fliggins, you wouldn't be able to tell like I'm not cake face. I think that's the other thing that I love so much about trying a lot of makeup is I've, I've learned how to make it so that it doesn't, I mean, you can tell I'm wearing it because you don't have glitter cheeks. Typically, that's not a thing that happens in nature, um, but it is, it's, it doesn't look like stuff on my skin it's just it's beautiful okay let's go this is not underrated it should be underrated this is the japanese makeup setting spray it stinks i think we're gonna call it hold on yep we're calling it goodbye it's going in the empties I need to do an empties video because I have a lot. We have witnessed the end of an era. I will never buy a Japanese makeup setting spray again. It's floral. I don't like floral on my face at all, at all. Ooh. Oh, I haven't put on fragrance today either. We're going to pick that out together too, if I can remember. Okay, brows, I'm going to do... Uh, it, I mean, this is technically an underrated product. I don't hear anybody else talking about Eye Method Beauty. But this is the Grooming and Volumizing Brow Gel. It is on Amazon. They sell their products on Amazon. And they are really good. This is the shade four. Just boom and it's done. Yes, please. I have used this one to slam death. And I love it. They have really cool like stencils and all that stuff that's really fun and trendy for brows. But this product, the volume, the grooming and volumizing brow gel is perfect. It, that's it. I'm done with my brows. I love it. Okay, let's talk eyeshadows. I'm going to say underrated eyeshadows are um, indie brands, period. Any indie brand eyeshadow that is... Uh, you know, there are some indie brands that have kind of hit it big with certain palettes. I'm going to use singles today because that's another way to get into independent makeup brands that is less expensive. A lot of times their palettes are um, up there on the price range because this is a person and they have, you know, if they have 10 or eight eyeshadows, it's, it, it's expensive. It's not, it's not inexpensive to create and have makeup and the actual products that they are creating are amazing. I'm going to use a couple of mattes from Clarity Cosmetics, Clarity with a K. And then I believe I'm, I think I'm going to use Roses Remixed, which is from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. These are singles. So I, you just pick out the colors that you want, make your own little palette. These are sitting on my vanity um, to use on the daily. Like I use these as liners, uh, you know, transition shade, setting shade, and just, I mean, unbelievably stunning um, shimmer shades. You're not going to get shades like that um, from higher end brands like at Sephora or Ulta. They, they don't make them. They're expensive and they're gorgeous. So I have a collection of independent singles that I have used 
on my channel from a variety of indie brands. I'm also, um, I mean, I do, I do buy palettes, don't get me wrong, but if you want to start looking at, you know, independent brands and makeup, um, I would highly recommend looking at their singles because they are less expensive. Get one or two and these shimmer, I'm going to call them shimmer shades. They're metallic, glittery, amazing. They're like what would be a special shade in a Pat McGrath Labs, like, mothership palette. They're, it, but they are unbelievable and it's just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So, on my channel, I've got quite a bit of indie brand, like, usage for eyeshadow palettes. Um, I've hauled quite a bit of them, swatched quite a bit of them, because I really like them. I like supporting small businesses, um, specifically women-owned, um, women of color-owned, but any independent business that is trying to cut it. You, you, I mean, they're not gonna, <laughs> they can't compete with L'Oreal's and, you know, in Lancome, Estee Lauder's reach in big chain stores. But selling on their own website, doing their own social media on Instagram and TikTok and all that, I I just I I gotta I gotta give it to them. They're hustling and I appreciate it. This is this shade is the perfect transition shade for me for like a neutral look. It is unbothered from Clarity Cosmetics. It's just a it's just the most beautiful, neutral, light, light milk chocolate brown. Like, super light. So, I love that as a transition shade for every day. I could put a blue on the lid, a purple, a green, a red, anything. And it would go with it. It would just, it would go absolutely beautifully with it. I do, I, Roses Remixed is my favorite. Um, this one is super cool. This is, um, oh, this is Do We Have a Problem from uh, Clarity. Uh, Clarity Cosmetics and Give Me Glow Cosmetics are m probably my most purchased singles for, well, Sydney Grace, Makeup Geek. I have a lot, y'all. Uh, this is Roses Remix, and I j but I, I think I woke up wanting to use that today. <sighs> I'm doing it. I take it on my finger. I touch it so lightly, just wait. You cannot tell me that this is not the most beautiful shadow that you have ever, I've still got some on my finger, that you have ever seen. It's just, it's like, it's, it's stupid good. And I'm telling you, I touch it so light. You don't need any of it to make it look like this. Not wet. No glitter glue. Nothing. Mm -mm. It's, it's absolutely stunning absolutely stunning i love it so much highly recommend this is a shade that i will i mean i don't i can't ever see using it up it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous that's it for the eye look like i'm just going super simple today i'm not trying to be uh crazy i just want to get uh a face done so real quick let me put on some mascara um i don't i mean i as far as like there's no underrated mascara in my opinion um there's folks that review high-end mascara i have high-end mascara i've used quite a bit of it um i i think drugstore is just as good if not better um my number one mascara of all time still so far is essence lash princess and it has worked better than anything else I've ever used. Not like just for the price point, but period. It doesn't matter that it's four or five bucks. It is excellent. The impact you get on your lashes instantly, it's so quick. You need one coat. You can build it up if you want to, but you don't have to. Another one that I've discovered this year is that Milani highly rated 
tubing mascara. It is a dupe for the Thrive Cosmetics, and it truly is. I like the Thrive Cosmetics. I've used it for a long time. The Milani is a dead-on dupe. I think it's $10.99 at Ulta. You might be able to find it less expensive at uh, Walmart, maybe, uh, or Target sometimes. Um, or, you know, on a sale or use your three fifty off a of ten or, or fifteen or whatever at Ulta. Um it's it's absolutely beautiful. I will repurchase this when I am out of this tube because it is so good. And it's tubing, so it doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake, it comes off in little tubes at the end of the day. Um, comes off very easily. You don't have to use like an oil you know, makeup remover for your eyes. I still do every day just because it's easier on my eyes, but you can just use warm water and they will, it will come off. It's amazing. It's not that it's underrated because this one's highly rated and up oh, the same of it, but that's exactly what it is. I love that product. Love it. Okay. Let's talk lips. Uh, I believe this whole brand is underrated. This is P. Louise. This is her um, like pencil lip liners. This one's an on the edge. I don't use lip liners a ton. I used to, oh, I used to every day. Look, look at me drawing all over my face. That's all you gotta do for a lip liner is if you mesh up, Tap it with either your sponge or your foundation brush. I like a lip liner. Okay. I love them. They're beautiful. I have all kinds of shades. This is underrated. This, I don't hear anybody talking about. This is Lunar Beauty's Liquid Lipstick. Good Google Moogle. This is a beautiful product. This is in the shade Perfection. It's the perfect nude for me. It is so thin. It is so thin. You can't even feel it. Like, it's so thin. It smells like vanilla cake. It smells delicious, but it's the perfect nude. I can't tell you how perfect this. It's like, sorry, it's like concealer lips, but not. And I love it so much. It's just a beautiful neutral lip that is perfect. It is... I think I have, somebody sent these to me too. I love you for that. Because I don't think I ever would have tried it. Like I just, it's not that I don't like Manny. You know, I used to watch him back in the day. I don't know that I've been subscribed for a long time. But it's just crazy. But this brand, he's done a great job with the brand. I, all of his products are good that I've tried. But this is unbelievable. Like this is like you want a red in it because it's not going to budge, but it doesn't dry down and like shrinkle fire your lips. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't do that. And I love it. This nude is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. I love it so much. And I don't hear anybody talking about his lippies. Um, he also has, I don't know if I have one up here. They might be all be down by my computer. He has a, um, hold on. Let me try to find one. Um, a lip gloss that is unbelievable too. It is so nice. Where did you put it, Leanne? Do I have one? I don't know if I have one. But it's got, it's the same like, I'm looking for the lid. But it's it's got that little diamond in the middle, in the top, in the lid. They're gorgeous. They're so pretty. I love them. The glosses are gorgeous too. Just FYI. Lip products from Lunar Beauty. Who knew? Okay, this is my face. And I think she's pretty gorgeous today. Very glittery, glowy, beautiful, which I love. But also, like, not over-the-top color that would 
Distract. I think it's gorgeous. I, if you've got underrated makeup products, let me know what they are down below. Like, what do you use that you're like, why is no one talking about this? This is amazing. I've got more. I'll, I could do a whole nother video on some more because I use, I mean, I use a lot of mainstream products, but I also use some stuff that I'm like, this is really good. It doesn't matter what the cost was. It doesn't matter what the brand is. I'm not, it's not like you got to use the bougie stuff to to feel bougie. I, I look and feel very confident today in this makeup that I, some of it I got off of Amazon for $5. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? It doesn't have to be expensive to be good. Um, oh, I need to put on fragrance before we go. Uh, let's, oh, what am I feeling today? Do you want to do... Let's do this one. Let's do our Tom Ford. This is the uh, white patchouli. I'm just, I'm not feeling, I, I want it to be fall so bad. I don't need much of this because it can be overwhelming, but it's absolutely stunningly gorgeous. I got that from the cosmetics company store. So it was like ridiculously priced well because I wouldn't buy a Tom Ford fragrance for full price. But anyway. There she is. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I gotta go to work. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye.